Hello, and welcome to Paranormal Investigations. Today, we're looking at the case of the murder of Howard Gray. An urban legend or the truth? Let's find out. This time, we look at a possible haunting on a Sussex train line. But is there evidence of ghosts operating in this area? We go to investigate. In 1911, a businessman, Howard Gray, died in this exact carriage, poisoned by a drink. The waiter that served him was charged with the murder, but he got away scot-free. Alleged sightings of Howard Gray range from a pale figure standing on the platforms to a face being seen while the train goes through a tunnel. Late night engineers that have been working on the trains have spotted him around the area. Which can at first be dismissed as figments of the imagination. But one much more tragic story makes me wonder, is there more to this than just the imagination? On the 31st of July, 1943, on a dark and rainy night, newlywed Ronald Knapp and Winnie Fred Standing were walking along the railway line when they were struck from behind by a train and pulled under. When the train got to Horsted Keynes, a bloodied raincoat was found on the engine, with another found next to the two bodies lying in the track. Most believe that the couple had not heard the train coming due to the storm, but others say that the ghost of Howard Gray, like a sadistic puppeteer, tricked these newlyweds into walking to their deaths. You wouldn't think that there is so much brutal history surrounding these train tracks. The railway line was closed in 1958 and was then reopened in 1960 as a heritage line. Much of the original line is no longer in use, but the tunnels are still standing to this day. Despite all of this change, the haunting of Howard Gray has not been affected. We are going to look at the place where he has been sighted most. We have come to Heathfield Railway Tunnel to see what we can find. Here we are, outside the tunnel entrance. As you can see, it's been converted into a skate park over the years. However, Howard Gray still lurks around these areas and sightings have been recorded. I'm here to talk to Alex Baldwin, the local resident. Hello Alex, thank you for joining us. That's alright. So how long have you lived in the area? Uh, about 12 years now. Have you heard of the story of Howard Gray at all? I personally have only heard a couple of things, but um, I think there are maybe only rumours. Well, we've been investigating around the uh, Heathrow Tunnel behind us there, and uh, we haven't really found anything yet, but we've been interviewing people around the area, and uh, they've heard the story of Hal Gray, but not particularly seen him. Have you personally seen him yourself, or any family? Uh, I haven't seen him, I don't think any of my family have, but um, you know, it'd be interesting to see what other people around the uh, community do say. Alex didn't sound too convinced, so I went to take a look for myself. Here we are, at the Heathrow Railroad Tunnel. Today, we are here to investigate the sightings of Howard Gray. Let's go and investigate. While I was walking through the tunnel, I noticed a very intimidating feeling. The whole place screamed ghost. But could that be because of how eerie this tunnel looks, coupled with the stories of Howard Gray? And could these add up to create the urban legend that is Howard Gray? Could the ghost of Howard Gray simply be the product of a superstitious mind, regardless of whether you believe the stories or not? This tunnel is unnerving to walk through. To conclude our investigation, we found no hard evidence of Howard Gray's hauntings. However, the stories still lie around the train line. However, does this mean that it exists or not? Who knows? Thanks for watching Paranormal Investigation. We'll see you next time.